Hello everybody, my name is Calvin with Montevilla Sewing Centers, and today we are unboxing and reviewing the Janome Continental M17 sewing and embroidery machine. It's been nearly a decade since they have released a machine like this, and it's clear that they have been working on this for a long, long time. I'm excited to show it to you. Let's get right to it. So let's start off with the machine. Now, as you can probably tell by our little intro there, this is not a small sewing machine. <laughs> it is uh, one of the largest now in the industry, and for good reason, and we'll talk all about that in a bit, but because it's so large, I'm gonna go ahead and do the sewing machine first, and then we'll go ahead and jump into the embroidery unit. So, let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and cut into the top here. And we are first presented with more cardboard. <laughs> Got this guy as a filler here, this guy as a filler here. Extra cardboard just to hold everything in place. Sitting right in the top here, we have power cord, lots of accessories. I'll be putting this out onto the table in a bit to kind of show everything that comes with it. Um, but this has some of the presser feet, the extra bobbin case, um, more presser feet, <laughs> all the AccuFeed system, and an extra little thread guide. Um, which again, I'm gonna go through all of this in just a bit. We're trying to get to the main, the main event. <laughs> I'll set this to the side. Up here right in the top we have our instruction manuals and safety guides, um, all the fun paperwork that comes with the machine. This is the embroidery foot with a laser. We have the uh, base AccuFeed foot from Janome. And then we have our buttonhole feet. Next up here at the top, we have both of our stitch plates. Um, both of our extra stitch plates, this is the straight stitch needle plate, and this is the high performance stitch plate. Uh, it's kind of a combination between the straight stitch uh, and the zigzag plate. Our knee lift, right here. Then the grand reveal of the big chunk of styrofoam. And inside we have the machine. I'm gonna swap back to the main camera to pull this out because this is gonna be tricky <laughs> to try and do on camera. Okay, so I've got the box on the ground because I tried doing it, uh, pull, picking up out of the box on the table, and that was not the greatest idea. It is a very large machine, and I like to, I'm not, I'm not quite that strong. <laughs> so, but here we go, pulling it right out of the box. We have uh, the Janome Continental M17, a beautiful, beautiful sewing machine. Fresh out of the box, we have this nice large styrofoam, uh, what would you call this, uh, spacer to just keep the machine safe while it's in transit in any direction. So they package these things really, really well. Um, nice little protective cover on the screen right here. And go ahead and peel that right off. Reveal this beautiful 10 and a half inch display. Uh, on this, we do have two displays, the nice 10 and a half inch and another smaller display right here in the middle. They really wanted to pull a lot of the features that you use often over in this area right here, right where you're sewing all the time so that you don't have to be going back and forth between each side of the machine. Cause let's be real, these machines are getting pretty big, um, which isn't a bad thing. You can do plenty of fabric running through these things, large quilts, not a problem. Uh, but it is something that Janome took into consideration in the design of this machine. So before we go on all about this guy, let's go ahead and take a closer look at all of those accessories it comes with. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the plethora of accessories that this machine comes with. This is a top of the line machine. Janome thought of pretty much everything that you would want to do and gave you the things you need to do it. So I'm gonna kind of work from your left to right here. You know, starting off with, we've got a, a knee lift. 
as every any quilting machine should have. <laughs> uh, we have this magnifying glass right here, which actually hooks into the front of the machine and magnifies the sewing area right in front of you. And that comes with an additional two uh, selections for magnifications. Uh, comes with these additional stabilizer clips. Oh, flipping them around there. Uh, these clips separate one out. These clips go on the embroidery um, hoops, specifically the largest hoop, so that way it stabilizes the fabric when it's stitching because Janome does now have the largest embroidery hoop in the industry. Uh, this right here is an extra piece you can put on the top of your thread guide and that actually allows you with this hook right here to have a secondary larger spool away from the machine that you can then carry over the over this hook uh, and thread through the rest of your machine. And I can show you how that works in just a bit. Uh, brand new and highly requested is the fabric guide. Uh, this area right here actually replaces your bobbin cover, so it clicks in on the machine, very solid, and with just the click of this lever right here, we can easily adjust where we want this guide to be, click it into place, and it's not gonna go anywhere. Very, very handy tool. This is highly requested, and Janome has included it with the machine. Um, it does conclude both the straight stitch plate, as I mentioned earlier, which brings the, let's see if I can get a better shot of it right there. You see there's a hole there instead of an open slot for your needle to go through. And what that does is that's gonna stabilize your fabric much better as you're doing a straight stitch. So you don't have a larger area for that fabric to get sucked down into the needle plate. Um, we also have the high performance plate, which is a similar concept, but just gives your fabric a little bit more stabilization if you want to do more stitches and it will, the machine itself knows what, uh, what the what plate's on the machine, so it won't let it hit the actual needle plate itself. Uh, next up, a brand new accessory from Janome is the new AccuStitch um, stitch regulator. So the AccuStitch stitch regulator is uh, a stitch regulator so that as you move your fabric, specifically in free motion, it will keep your stitches a consistent length. I'll show this in a little bit. That's one of the things I love about the machine. Uh, but what's very, very special about this is it comes with a ruler foot. So you can do stitch regulated ruler work on a sewing machine. That's a first in the industry. And the feet themselves are very easy to change. There's this little black button on the back here. You press that in, releases the foot. If you want to put a new one on, simply click it right back into place. It also comes with an echo foot, an open toe foot, and a regular free motion foot. Next up we have the buttonhole foot with the stabilizer plate. Um, the stabilizer plate I have found really does help make a much higher quality, uh, very consistent buttonhole. That's just an extra plate. You can use the buttonhole foot without it, but adding that plate will actually help stabilize your fabric, both top and bottom, to make a very clean and consistent buttonhole that looks very, very nice on the sewing machine. Next up, we do have the stitch cards. And these are how Janome has decided to show you all of the stitches in a, a physical form, so you don't have to necessarily see them on the machine. Uh, these cards are magnetic on the back, and I'll show you why that's important in just a little bit. Um, but you can pick whatever stitches you like the most. And we've got lots and lots, over 1,200 built-in stitches. Pick ones you like the most and actually attach them to the machine so you have a constant quick reference guide. So those are fun. Then we have, I'll keep kind of moving on down this way, uh, some of the couple tools and accessories that comes with it. We have our extra embroidery bobbin case. The scissors, uh, just a nice little set of uh, curved scissors. So for snipping those, all those little embroidery threads. Um, pack of needles. A little bit of cleaner that it comes with to keep everything nice and running smoothly. Screwdriver, a 
little lint brush to keep your hook nice and clean. Uh, let's see, we've got a seam ripper, just all the basic tools that you need when you're doing sewing. It just really makes everything nice and easy. You don't have to go to the store and get that, that one little stinking tool that you needed. <laughs> Uh, you also have a stylus that comes with the machine, as you might expect it to. All of our spool caps from large to small. We have this tool, which if you don't know what these this is or how it works, um, I love, love, love this tool. It's very simple. Uh, basically, if you're trying to go over a really heavy fabric, and I can demonstrate here with an actual foot. Let's choose our, let's just go with our quarter inch foot with a guide. Let's just go with our quarter inch foot. So, if you're trying to go sew over fabric and you come up to some very, very thick, heavy fabric, I'm just gonna plop this guy on here. So you're trying to go up some thick, heavy fabric, your foot is gonna wanna climb. And when it climbs, you lose a lot of the pressure that that foot is putting on the fabric and it can sometimes get stuck. So what this tool is for, is you can place it behind the foot to actually stabilize it as it climbs to keep that foot consistent, giving solid pressure so that it will be able to traverse no problem. And it is a just, it's something that a lot of people don't know exist and Janome included it, which is awesome. <laughs> really, really handy. All right, so other than the new AccuStitch regulator foot that I showed you, there are a whole host of feet that this machine comes with. Basically everything that you need to get started with sewing and well, far beyond that, you can do almost anything that you want to with the feet that they give you. Um, here, this section, we have all of our AccuFeed feet, which if you're not familiar with AccuFeed, this is a Janome's dual feed system, which mechanically links to the back of the machine right here and effectively gives you a top set of feed dogs that will run in parallel with your bottom feed dogs to give you a very strong and consistent feeding. I have done a lot of testing no other machine can pull as strong as the Janome AccuFeed system. And this foot does come with all three feet that they manufacture for this foot. So we have a quarter inch foot, a stitch in the ditch foot, and an open toed foot. So if you're doing a lot of decorative stitching, you can see what you're doing very, very well. And next up for the AccuFeed system, we have uh, this foot, which is effectively a more of a standard foot um, that has a slot so you can do zigzag and some decorative stitching, but it doesn't take up the large footprint that the other one does. And it uses this little guy back here. Now for the benefit on this large one right here is that those feed dogs come all the way up to the back of the needle. So you get that feed kicking in right when your needle goes into the fabric. Uh, but this guy is gonna be more similar and more akin to some of the other dual feed systems that are out there. Um, but it does give you the benefit of being a much smaller footprint. And it also comes with a zipper foot attachment that you can use with it as well. So that's handy. And lastly, for the AccuFeed system, we have their straight stitch AccuFeed foot. It's got a very, very fine foot that does a very, very good job at grabbing the fabric, pulling it through, and giving you a very solid, balanced stitch uh, platform to work from. So you get really clean, straight, straight stitch. Um, moving on down to the feet, I'll go this way. We have, I'm just gonna name through them, a rolled hem foot, a cording foot, a zipper foot, an overcasting foot, a quarter inch foot both with and without a guide, a stitch in the ditch foot, a regular straight stitch foot without the AccuFeed system, uh, an, a glide foot, a clear glide foot, an open toed clear glide foot, <laughs> uh, and a, a free motion, a spring free motion foot, an open toed uh, spring free motion foot, and then we have our ruler work foot, standard ruler work foot right here. Now coming down here, we have uh, one, two, three, four different free motion feet and the button foot. So let me grab these right here. So these are your free motion feet from Janome. We have on the top here, this is your zigzag free motion foot. Ooh. <laughs> 
zigzag free motion foot, your echo free motion foot that will stabilize your fabric but still give you a much larger area uh, to work with that you can see. Uh, then this is your open toed free motion foot and your closed toed free motion foot. And then lastly right here, this is your button foot. So this will, the little blue part here is very grippy and it will actually hold down a button while you sew it on. So just super fun, <laughs> nice and simple. Um, other than that, we got some power cords here, a couple of thread guides, but that is the majority of the accessories that come with the Janome Continental M17. I know there's a lot to go through <laughs> and there's still more to come. All right, now the time has come to open the embroidery unit. <laughs> I was a little blown away, a little shocked the first time that I saw this box. This is probably about twice the size, at least, of the next largest embroidery box that I've seen. Um, but once I saw what was inside, it all made sense. So let's get to it. All right, so as you can see, I can barely fit this whole thing in the frame. <laughs> it is a, I mean, this is me reaching across the thing. It's a pretty big box. Uh, let's go ahead and crack her open. I'm probably gonna have to move the camera here in a bit, but that's okay. Because this flap is not gonna want, <laughs> it's gonna hit the camera if I open it. So let's get this guy open. And through the magic of video editing, that flap's now open. <laughs> get this guy up here, and this one up here. And this is what we're presented with. We've got some lovely little packaging, do not eat packages. I was never, I never thought, <laughs> no, side note, I never thought about eating these. Um, they always were really good about saying do not eat. I don't know, call me crazy. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be a little roll of a stabilizer that the machine comes with, just something, a little something to get you started. Then we have the stabilizer plates that attach to the embroidery unit. We have our foot control in the box, comes ready to assemble for their advanced foot control system which incorporates the foot control, a thread cutter, and a platform to attach them to so it becomes all one unit with all of the hardware and accessories needed to assemble. Then we have the machine cover right here on the top. It says Janobi on it, embroidered in a silvery gray color. Um, beautiful embroidery on it. Uh, really great little cover to throw on top of your machine. So it looks just as beautiful covered up as it does when it is out. Okay, and next up we have all of the hoops that come with the machine. We have the four x four hoop. All of these do include their grids as well for embroidery alignment. We have the five x seven hoop. The 10 by 10 hoop, which is a very popular size among quilters. And then, of course, the all new carbon fiber reinforced composite, massive, 18 by 11 inch embroidery hoop. This thing is huge. They actually had to add carbon fiber to the composite to make sure it was rigid enough and strong enough to not warp while it was embroidering. This coupled with the additional clips and extra stabilization from the embroidery bed is what allowed to Janome to push through the barrier that other manufacturers have been unable to. So this is now the largest embroidery hoop on the market and man, it is amazing. Some of the designs you can make with it. I've got one I'll show you in a little bit uh, in our little kind of review and show and tell section. In this box, we also have the accessory case right here. I'll go ahead and open this up so you guys can see what is inside, but this is gonna be our case that holds all of our lovely accessories because it comes with plenty of them. <laughs> so they've made sure to include a place to put them. So just got a zipper on the back right here. Go ahead and open that up. If I can grab the zipper. <laughs> so this is gonna have some trays in it. So you can hold every single accessory that Janome gives with the machine that will fit in this case, in this case. Obviously you probably won't be getting the knee lift or that fabric guide in here because it's about you know this big. But lots of slots, I'll show you up close here. For all of your feet, right at the bottom here, we do have a space for bobbins to go, um, extra little bobbin storage. 
Um, same with this guy. This will be holding the AccuFeed system, the magnifying glass. Um, it's got a couple extra um, spots for a couple extra things. There, for the most part, these two trays are custom molded to a lot of the components that come with the machine, and then or the accessories that come with the machine. And then this one is just an extra box that you can kind of throw little doodads and whatnots in, because uh, <laughs> who who couldn't use another one of these, right? <laughs> And next up, before we dive into the big old embroidery unit in the bottom of this guy, we have the embroidery quilting kit. Now this is a bonus kit that Janome is giving as an, just an extra added bonus, sort of a thank you for purchasing our machine, which is specifically tied towards quilting and embroidery. And inside of this, we have two very lovely things. First off, we have Janome Artistic Digitizer Junior. So this is an embroidery editing software. So they figured, you know, if people are gonna have a combo embroidery and sewing machine, they might as well be able to digitize their designs, uh, create new designs, and you unleash your full creative freedom. And then also, we have this lovely, lovely, lovely hoop, for specifically for quilting. That's what it was made for. You can use it for anything else, really. But we have the quilting hoop. So the way this works is that you have all of these clips that act where you can lay down your quilt over the hoop and simply clip them down into place. So they're magnetic. You can clip down multiple clips all around the frame and then clip and unclip very, very easily. Because if you've ever tried to hoop up an entire quilt before in a standard hoop, you'll know that uh, when you have something that thick, it just does not want to work and you, and it's really, it's just frustrating to work with. So what this does, it allows you to very easily quilt in the hoop with embroidery, which is a very, very fun feature and is almost limitless in the number of ways you can use it. So here it is, the reveal of the Janome Continental M17 embroidery unit. Oh, look at that guy. This thing is massive. <laughs> you will never have a, an embroidery that doesn't feel like a staple again. <laughs> this is a very solid platform. As you can probably tell, this looks pretty different from a lot of the other embroidery units that are on the market. Now that is because Janome actually partnered a little bit with the robotics division of their company to design from the ground up a new standard, in my opinion, of embroidery unit. This unit has a full aluminum die cast frame, just like the machine, and actually has two points uh, of uh, two axes where the machine actually moves along. So this entire arm on most machines is run on one side. What Janome has done is they have mechanically linked through a very, um, well, not too complicated process, but a very ingenious process, both sides. What this does, it allows a very high level of accuracy and speed. This thing can embroider up to 1,200 stitches per minute. 1,200 stitches per minute. It's crazy. They have really, in my opinion, redefined what an embroidery unit is. These plates on the side here, you might have seen, the, you might remember the smaller version of these earlier, and I will show you how these work um, in a bit, but this does also come with an extra storage attaches to the embroidery unit itself, um, and those larger plates go over this and are meant to stabilize the larger hoop. So let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up on the machine and show you guys what it can do. Okay, so we've got the machine set up, and before I get into anything else, first things first. Never gets old. <laughs> All right, now that that's taken care of, let's go ahead and dive into some of the design features of the machine. So first of all, it wouldn't be a Janome machine if we didn't have access to this area right here. Uh, this is a uh, design that Janome has stuck with for a very long time, even though we have fancy computer, computer board and circuits and stuff, uh, they still wanted to maintain their integrity of keeping this as a key design of the machine. It does make it much easier as a technician to uh, so problem solve when machines are brought into the store. Um, and so it's just a really, really nice feature that was part of what makes a Janome machine a Janome machine. The second off, you'll notice we have two screens. We have the 10 and a half inch screen right up front with all of our primary controls, and then there's this secondary screen up here 
that pulls a lot of the uh, information like stitch width, stitch length, and pulls them right into this area right here. Now that's important because, as you can see, this is not a small machine. Do you know we thought about that? So what they did was they included a couple new features, such as the needle bar thumb wheel. Super fun. Let me go ahead and change the camera angle so you can see, I'll see that a little better. Now, what this does is it takes the hand wheel and just moves it right here with really easy access to electronically control the height of your needle. So this is fantastic if you're trying to get very specific placement, pinpoint if you're getting ready to stitch in the ditch and you wanna make sure that your needle starts right in the ditch. You can pull the needle right down very easily without having to go all the way over to the other side of the machine uh, to turn that hand wheel. Very, very convenient and a surprise feature. I was not expecting this on the new machine. The next thing I'd like to focus on is this new display right here. Now this is a small display that pulls the most pertinent information from the other side of the machine over there into this little section right here, which allows you to keep you focused on your sewing project without having to go back and forth and back and forth between the right side and left side of the machine. So this pulls, uh, in this case, with a straight stitch, we have our needle position. So if I raise the needle here, this will now give us full control of our needle position. So as I move it along, I can go far left, far right, and it gives me a little graphic right here, kind of show me the rough position right here. So as I slide this up, we go center, then we go to the right and the left. And this can give us a really, really fine adjustment. This right here would be our stitch length that we can adjust. Then we have our tension and our pressure foot pressure. Now watch this, if I go ahead and select a zigzag stitch, it's gonna change. Because now with zigzag, we wanna control our width as well. So this pulls our width right here. And as I change this, we are actually changing the width of our stitch. I find that Janome does that really well, where they take something simple and make you realize how nice it is. <laughs> As simple like uh, these dials right here, we can still have full control of our width and our length with dials. It's, again, simple, but it's so nice to have. Now the next thing I'd like to go on to is this little guy right here, which is going to now open our top cover. So moving on to this upper cover section, we can take a look at these magnets right here. These are actually the same magnets that hold the cover down, and when you press this button, it releases them. Now, Janome actually thought, why not take those magnets and make them a feature? So, they've made it a lovely little place to stick all the little things, like a scissors or a screwdriver, uh, or also, in this case, remember those magnetic cards I was telling you about? Stick right up there for quick, easy reference. You've got a couple plates that you like to work with all the time. Then you have them right here. Just a really, again, a little thing that Janome thought of that makes this machine stand out from all the rest. And moving on right over here, we have our bobbin winder. If we engage it right here and click this button, that's going to engage and also disengage our bobbin winder. It also has this stop, which if we are running, uh, winding the bobbin, once it's full, this will kick out, stop the bobbin winder, and then we can cut the thread. Now there's this little lever sitting right here that if I pull that, it's going to pop up our spool pins, and then I can pull up our telescoping arm for the thread guide, which locks into place, and now we're ready to thread the machine. Now this little plastic piece that I showed you earlier, uh, which I was explained so you could use an external spool of thread, this actually goes right here onto the top of the thread guide and gives you another place to run thread through. So you can have a spool off to the side of the machine, run the thread up and over here, and then thread it through the rest of the machine like you would the rest of it. Now I would like to point out that at the top of the machine here, they did give you an actual demonstration of some examples of every stitch uh, category that they have. So again, quick reference guide in person without having to dig through the menu, really, really nice feature. And this adds to my opinion that Janome is one of the best brands and when it comes to telling you how to thread your machine. There's a very detailed guide right here at the top that details both threading the machine and threading the bobbin uh, for bobbin winding. 
Now another great design feature of this machine is that it is actually built off of the Janome M7. So they took the frame of the Continental M7 and used it, built onto it, and added to it to create the Continental M17. Now what's great about that is the M7 is a fantastic, uh, very, very well built sewing machine. And one of the prime features in that that they did bring on over to this is the ability to electronically lift your needle plate off. Now that gives me incredibly easy access right here underneath the needle plate without having to use a screwdriver, without having to go through the hassle of taking it off, makes it much easier to actually clean and maintain this section, which is one of the number one reasons people have issues. They get a lot of lint built up in here and that can cause all sorts of issues. Uh, so it just really makes that easy to do, easy to clean, and just makes life a heck of a lot easier. And putting it back just as easy, simply slip it in, drop it in, and it magnetically reattaches to the machine. So now I'd like to go ahead and show you a little bit more of an example of the AccuStitch ASR foot. That's for AccuStitch regulator. Now what this does is it's gonna give you a clean and consistent stitch length no matter what speed you go. So it will speed up the machine. If you speed up, it'll slow it down if you slow down. Now there are two key differences to this and other uh, other regulators like this out on the market. Some, this one is the first one that can use rulers. So you can get stitch regulated ruler work. First in the industry for a brand to come out with that well, on the machine. Now, uh, the other thing about it is that it uses a very high intensity beam which shines straight down from the back onto the fabric and that means you're gonna get much better results on darker fabric. Janome took that into consideration as well. So if I go ahead and click start right here, this is going to go ahead and it's gonna move whenever I move. So if I move my fabric, it's gonna stitch. If I stop, it'll slow down. I can go really fast. It'll beep at me if I get a little bit too uh, excited about it. But no matter what I do, it will make sure that I am being consistent. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out over here. Rotate my ruler. Move on to the next one. Rotate my ruler again. and it's very easy to start making very simple designs that are fun and easy to use. Now right on here on our stitch selection menu, they do make it very, very simple and easy to use. So the first thing that always pops up is your utility stitch menu. Now this is two pages of all of your basic utility stitches, 30 in total. So sort of the, all the basic stitches you would use for any regular application, they've condensed them all to make them really easy to find. They also right up here at the top have all of our buttonholes available. Now if we move on to the next menu selection, this is where we have a much more broad um, menu that's gonna give us a lot more options. So we have applique, cross stitch, heirloom stitches, quilt stitches, which specifically in this I like that they have a quarter inch piecing and a seven millimeter piecing stitch that will specifically set your needle to the exact place it needs to be using the quarter inch foot to give you a quarter inch stitch. Simply at the click of a button. I love it. <laughs> uh, there's a whole bunch of menus in here with a whole bunch of different categories to choose from. And really, uh, I'm not gonna go too into depth on this because I could make an entire video in and of itself, but there are lots and lots of stitches to choose from. So that was all in ordinary sewing mode. I will very briefly go ahead and touch on sewing application mode. Sewing application is Janome's way of taking care of the nitty gritty details of specific applica sewing applications. So things like knowing which stitch to use, knowing which length to use, needle type, the foot, um, all of that it tries to take care of for you so that you can simply get to your project. So in this case right here, we have seaming woven and then seaming stretch knit. So let's say, you know, I want to seam something that is stretchy. So this is gonna give me my options of a medium, light, or heavy fabric. You know, the fabric I'm using is a lightweight fabric. 
So what that's gonna do is it's gonna automatically set the stitch for me. It puts it in the leftmost needle position because the straight stitch in the left needle position is the strongest position for it to be in based on the mechanical components in the machine and how they work. And it's automatically going to set my length, my width, my tension, and my presser foot pressure for me. And then of course it's gonna tell me right here down that I need to use the A foot. So they have these for curves, for top stitching, for rolled hem. There's a lot of different categories, um, like button for example. Um, I want to put on a regular button, so it loads the button stitch for me and sets all my settings. It's really nice when you're just trying to do something on the fly and you don't want to go to Google or the internet just to look for how to do something. It's all right here for you. Now I'm going to go over to embroidery mode. Then I'm going to press OK. Now Janome has taken a much different approach in this category than a lot of the other brands out there today. They have actually created six different apps that will connect seamlessly with the machine to give you a very powerful control over your embroideries, including placement and design. So where a lot of the other machines have tied a lot of their software into the machine, on this one, we still have some basic editing capabilities, but with the apps, we have a far broadened and expanded expanded ability to edit stitches um, all the way down to some of you get some of the features that you would only have within a digitizing software which the machine does come with as well it does have a wireless link as per the Wi-Fi symbol up here where you can you can connect the machine to a device and seamlessly send information from one to the other now within all of the designs here if I click on this Genomi has separated out the designs by the hoop size. That's just one of the ways you can filter out the designs, which I think is fantastic, because I, I know that all my other hoops are sitting off hung up, and I've got my four by four hoop sitting out here, and I just want to do a small design. So I'm gonna click on this guy right here, and that's going to give me all of the designs that will fit within that hoop. So I decide that I want to use my SQ28D hoop which is the 280 by 280 millimeter. Now I can pick a design, I happen to like this one. It'll throw it in, it'll give me an example of what it'll look like. I have some basic editing capabilities. Within this editor we have the ability to change the thread colors, the ability to do some basic resizing, to rotate, to move it around. Um, but within the machine we are going to have a very simple and easy to use method of editing. Now, what I can do, and I'll get into this in another video where we talk about the apps, but I could actually send this design to my iPad or um, a tablet or even a phone. Uh, they have made the apps work for both Android and iOS and do a lot more fine editing and changing, copying, duplicating. Uh, there's a very broad amount of tools you have available within those apps. And now because it's running on a separate device, it's also very quick, very smooth, and easy to use. So then once that's complete, I can bring it right back here, make any fine tune adjustments, click OK. Now with this new design for their embroidery hoop attachment, they have this lovely little system right here. Now what I can do is simply line this up, slide it right onto place, and give it a little click. And now the hoop is set and in place. To remove it, simply lift up the lever, pops it free, and it very freely and easily slides right out. It also stays nice and clear of the actual presser foot right here, so I'm not fighting that at all. As I'm going back, it'll catch the fabric a little bit, but that's no big deal. Simply slide the hoop on, and we're good to go. So I've got a basic line design load it up here and I'm just gonna go ahead and start it and let it run and let you see how beautifully smooth this machine is in embroidery. And just like that, 
we've got our embroidery design complete. Now this is, in my opinion, one of the smoothest, most precise embroidery machines that is out there today. It really is amazing just how much more sound this thing is than anything else. One last time, my name is Calvin with Montevilla Sewing Centers. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you could leave in the comments below, let us know what your favorite feature was. And also let us know if you'd like to know anything about this machine. There's a lot more about it than I could cover in one single video. We've got more videos coming about the apps and that's pretty much all we got for you. I love this machine. I think it really has set the new bar for what a machine is in the market today.